Hot there, someone's watching. Eyes behind the stars after Politically Incorrect. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Greg Hurst, Roz Abrams, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Kevin Cedeno, a teenager at the center of the latest police storm. They say he came at them with a machete, but an autopsy is telling a very different story. Good afternoon, I'm Greg Kurtz. I'm Roz Abrams. Here's what's happening. The case has sparked an investigation within the police department. The medical examiner now says Cedeno was shot in the back by police. Tim Minton is live at City Hall with the very latest. Tim. Roz, ironically, police are gearing up here for a long scheduled demonstration against police brutality. In the current case, friends of the shot teenager had told one story, police had told another. And now the autopsy report is out and it appears to show that the civilians got part of it right. The medical examiner says there's no doubt. 16-year-old Kevin Cedeno was rushed to the hospital early yesterday after being shot in the back. And while that contradicts the initial account from a police commander, this afternoon the department's top boss says the forensic evidence won't be disputed. I want to assure the citizens of Washington Heights and the public that uh, we will pursue this investigation uh, wherever it goes. The trouble started early yesterday when a party spilled onto Amsterdam Avenue and police say they got reports of men facing off with knives, bats and sticks several blocks away. As Cedeno was heading away, he was confronted by a pair of responding officers. We know that he was uh, carrying a machete. We know now that he was shot in the back. So that gives you two facts that could go in either direction. But with three allegedly knife-wielding suspects shot dead by police in disputed circumstances in as many weeks, New York Civil Liberties Union says the trends all in one direction. We have to recognize that perhaps we have a problem here with police officers in their interactions with men of color. As for why the two-star chief in charge of Upper Manhattan initially got the facts of the latest shooting wrong. One of the uniformed officers fired one round, striking the individual in the stomach. The mayor says, honest mistake. They had a version of events that said he was shot in the front. Uh, and they also had a version of events later on in the day saying he was shot in the back. And at the time that they were talking to you, the version of events that they had in a report uh, said that he was shot in the front. Ultimately, a grand jury may decide exactly what happened. The Manhattan DA, who's investigating independently, has asked internal affairs detectives not to question the officers involved so that the DA's office can talk to them first. And complicating the investigation, police now say they believe there were no actual eyewitnesses to the shooting itself, people who were there before and after, but not while the shooting was actually occurring, except, of course, for the officers and the 16-year-old who the police commissioner this afternoon started to call the victim. We're live at City Hall, Tim Minton, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tim. How is Cedeno's Upper Manhattan community reacting to developments in the case? Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, the community speaks out. We will hear from friends of Cedeno, and they will tell how they feel about this latest revelation concerning police. That's on Eyewitness News at 6. There is breaking news tonight from New Jersey. John Del Giorno's live in Newscopter 7 over a fire at the Meadowlands. What's up, John? Well, Greg, the spring weather and these gusty winds do bring brush fires. We'll take you to a live picture outside of this huge brush fire, which has been burning for about the last 45 minutes in the Karlstadt area. It started down by Patterson Plank Road. The left side of your screen, you can see the western spur of the New Jersey Turnpike. The right side of your screen is the Meadowlands Arena. This fire started just north of there on Patterson Plank Road. The fire department had this just about out, and then the wind shifted and blew this fire north. A 15-foot wall of flame just cut a one-mile swath through the Meadowlands, continuing to burn now to the north. Right now, the fire department's best help is this creek that sits about one and a half miles north of the 18W tolls. The fire has not been able to jump this creek. Also, you'll notice fire department not fighting this fire from the swamp, but instead fighting it from the New Jersey Turnpike itself. They are out on the Turnpike. That's where they're hitting it with the water. They're trying to push it off the western spur of the Turnpike back into the swamp. We're going to be over this scene. We'll keep you updated as developments warrant. We are live over the Meadowlands. John Del Giorno, Newscopter 7. All right, we'll talk again, John. Thanks. Investigators in Central Islip have been looking into a terrible accident on the Long Island Railroad. Death on the tracks. N.J. Burkett is live with more on the accident and a young man whose life was trapped. No. 
little boy said to me, mark, why don't you rent rooms of women?